So today I'm talking about a P2118 code, what it is and how you could go about fixing it. And so what is a P2118 code? Well, it's a throttle actuator control motor current range performance. And so what does this mean? Well, basically modern vehicles have what's called a throttle body that's controlling all the air going into the engine. And it's controlling how much air is going into the engine with this throttle body plate right here. This plate will open and close and control how much air is going into the engine. When throttle bodies were first introduced, they used to have a cable that went from the gas pedal up to the throttle body. And then as the gas pedal was pressed, it would open up that plate inside of there and control how much air went into the engine. But with most vehicles nowadays, they got rid of that cable and it's all computer controlled with what's called an electronic throttle control system. And depending on the vehicle, there can be differences inside of this system. So if you are going to work on your vehicle, it's always a good idea to get a diagram of your specific vehicle to know for sure what's going on. But the basics of how these work is that there's going to be a sensor. It's going to be located down on the gas pedal. And when the gas pedal is pressed, this is going to report back to a computer called the throttle actuator control module. And this module can be a standalone module or it could be built in with like the ECM or the PCM it's with the vehicle's main computer. So again, it's going to vary, but the computer is going to control a small little motor built into the throttle body. And it's going to open and shut that throttle body plate depending on how much the gas pedal has been pressed. And it uses what's called a throttle position sensor to always know the exact location of where that plate is at. But when you get this P2118 code, the computer's seeing some kind of problem in this, mainly that the current that's going to the electronic throttle control system, that there's some kind of issue going on there. And so it's going to be troubleshooted to know why. And so what would be some possible causes of a P2118 code? Well, the first thing to go and check is go and check for any kind of blowing fuse going on. And this is going to be any fuse that's related to that electronic throttle control system. And so the name of it and the location of the fuse and things like this, it's going to vary. It's going to depend on the vehicle, the make, the model, things along these lines. For example, here's a 2007 Chevy Silverado. And the main fuse to go and check is going to be the number five fuse, ECM throttle control, which is going to be the number five fuse over here. Here's another example of a 2015 Toyota Corolla. Toyota quite commonly labels these ETCS. So in this case, it would be the number eight fuse. That would be the one to go and check. But the first thing to go and check is going to be for a blowing fuse. And the next thing that could cause is that there's some kind of wiring problem going to the throttle body. And it's going to be something like an open, a short, there's a bad connection somewhere, something along those lines. And so you can go and get wiring schematics for your particular vehicle. Since again, there's going to be differences. And you can go and check them. Be sure you're getting good reference voltage, which is usually 5 volts. Be sure you got a good ground. Or be sure there's no open or short or anything like this. It's also a good idea to go check all those pins and the plugs where everything plugs in because if they're not plugged in good or if any of these pins they're not pushed in good or anything like that then that's going to cause problems but the next thing that could cause this is some kind of wiring problem and the next thing that could cause this is a dirty or bad throttle body if there's some kind of issue going on with that throttle body if it's gotten really super dirty or if it's just gone bad then that can cause a problem one thing that can happen with these throttle bodies is that they get all dirty, that they get a lot of buildup on them and things like this. And that can throw everything off. It could throw off those sensors and the computers and everything. So if you look inside there and it does look really super dirty and it has a lot of buildup going on with it, then it can be a good idea to go and clean it up. You can go get what's called throttle body air intake cleaner. And you can even use like a small toothbrush. You just go inside there, you just spray inside there real good and you clean it up real good. You can also use a rag and you just clean it up real good. And quite often that can solve a lot of issues with throttle bodies. One thing to mention is that if you do use throttle body air intake cleaner, when you first go to start up the engine, it can run badly sometimes for like 30 seconds to a minute until all that throttle body air intake cleaner gets burnt away. But usually after that, it does run better. Of course, the throttle body might have just gone bad and just need to be replaced. These throttle bodies have that small little motor built into them, along with some gears to open and close that plate that's built into them. And if those go bad, then it's not going to open and shut. It's not going to work the way it should. Sometimes you can even listen to the throttle body. And if you hear that motor making any kind of noise inside of there, then that can be a sure sign that it has gone bad. So there might be some kind of issue going on with that throttle body and it just needs to be replaced. One thing to mention is that depending on the vehicle, if the throttle body is replaced or even sometimes cleaned, it needs to go through what's called a relearn procedure or learn procedure where the computer relearns all the small variances that's going on with all the sensors and everything like this. Again, this is going to be different. It's going to depend on the vehicle, the year, the make, the model, on whether the computer does need a relearn procedure and how the relearn procedure is done. But if you do clean or replace that throttle body and it's not running the way it should, you might want to look up your specific vehicle and what's called a throttle body relearn procedure because some vehicle computers need that in order to run good again.
Usually you could just drive the vehicle around and the computer will automatically relearn. But again, it could be different. So it might be a good idea to look this up and be sure what it is for your specific vehicle. And the next thing that could cause this is a bad computer, like a bad throttle actuator control module or a bad engine control module or powertrain control module or something like that. It is possible that there's some kind of issue going on with one of the computers that's causing a problem. Although this isn't too common, usually it's going to be something else, but it does happen sometimes. If you do think it's a bad computer, be sure to check all the computer fuses. Be sure the battery is good. Be sure the alternator is outputting the correct voltage. Because all these computers, they need a good stable power supply or that could cause problems. But the next thing that could cause this is some kind of computer problem. And the last thing on the list is going to be a bad throttle position sensor or a bad pedal position sensor or something like that. The throttle position sensor is going to be located up at the throttle body and the pedal position sensor is going to be located down on the gas pedal. Although usually when one of these go bad, you're going to get another code. So for example, if you also got like a P0122 throttle pedal position sensor switch A circuit low, then in that case it's going to be a good idea to go check out that throttle pedal position sensor because the last thing on the list that can cause this is a bad sensor. And so that's basically it. I just wanted to give a basic overview of how you go about fixing a vehicle with the P2118 code. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me. I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you, please click like, please click subscribe, and have a good day.